all right so i'm gonna go ahead and do a little tutorial of me braiding my hair i'm just doing box braids something you know to keep the heat out of my head uh my hair not my head <laughs> so this is what i like to use the braiding formula right here uh to help uh as i grew up and braid and whatnot and i normally use expression uh, i just depends it doesn't matter i just grab hair and just get it going uh, so this time I end up getting this kind, the Easy Braid, 20 inch, not too long, not too long or whatever. So once I'm finished, I am going to braid it up, dip it in some water, and it's going to come out like crinkly curly. It's going to be a look, a vibe, a look, a vibe, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on my hair. definitely this is gonna be so cute i started to go with a darker color but i'm like yeah i'll go ahead and spice it up and add some color why not okay <laughs> yeah a lot of people be like how do you see the back of your hair when you're doing it y'all i feel my way through sometimes i do use a um an extra mirror or whatever don't get me wrong but i've been doing this since i was eight years old braiding hair i taught myself how to braid hair my parents used to buy me like dolls and stuff so what i would do is just sit there and do their hair like <laughs> yeah it was fun so that's how i end up learning how to braid And ever since I've been doing it. Now my daughter, I'm noticing, uh, she twists her hair a lot. And I was like, ooh, uh, she's what, five? At the age of five, I was not twisting my hair. When I say, y'all, she be gone, gone with it. I'm like, okay, mamas. Next you'll be braiding so I can say, hey, Leah, come braid my hair. Just give me a break, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so just give me a little square piece or whatever. And I have this rack to hold my hair as I'm braiding, so I can just grab and go, grab and go. I ain't gotta worry about separating the hair. That is like so unique that came up with that. Before I had my braiding rack, y'all, I had um, thumbtacks, right? And I would put thumbtacks in a wall, and I'll just like hang them. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do to the end, right? So yeah, definitely. Oh, excuse me. I normally do, what do you call it? Y'all, I can't even think what I'm trying to say. Anyways, we'll come back to that. I don't know why my mind just went blank. It got something to do with hair. Who knows? Who knows? What the heck? I don't know. I remember what I was trying to say. I was trying to say knotless. I normally do knotless. There we go. Knotless braids, but I ain't did this in this way. Did the other way. I don't know how many years. Once I got a hold of the knotless, I was like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? So yeah. So here we go again. Fun fact, y'all, I went to cosmetology school back in, what, 2014 or whatever. People be like, why don't, why don't you do hair? Uh, yeah, if I get back into the hair industry, honestly, I would just most likely braid and or do wigs. Seriously, because it's money to be made in the, in the uh, hair industry. I also have a website as well where I sell bundles. I'll drop that below. Me about five and a half to six hours to do my hair. I ain't gonna even lie, y'all. It's been my two days. You wanna know why? I've been working. Like yesterday was so busy at work. I hardly had enough time. So, excuse me. I was just able to finish the whole of uh, the backside of my hair. And then I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna leave the top part 
for today today has been extremely slow so so far i've been on the top for i want to say about mm, we're gonna just run it off to about two hours okay we run it off about two hours i'm gonna say hours for change but we're gonna run it off to about two hours i am almost finished with this and i cannot wait jesus yes it's gonna be a vibe it's gonna be a look for me okay seriously and thereafter, um, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, doing some more studying. Study, 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 study. <laughs> yeah, because I'm so ready. I'm so, so, so ready to be done with this and get my real estate license, y'all, and sell y'all a house and go find me a house. All that good stuff. Seriously. You know, I'm not anxious. I'm not in a rush. I'm just excited, you know, like I can just sit here and stare at the wall and I can just imagine my future like, yeah, you know, I'm proud of myself. Nobody tell me, like I said all the time, I don't know if y'all ever heard me say it, if y'all watch my live, I mean, sorry, watch my stories or my previous videos, but I am proud of myself. I'm, I don't need nobody validation. I don't need none of that. I'm proud of myself because I know where I was last week, last month, last year, last two years, you know, even years ago, I knew where I was, where I stayed, and it's not the same place. It only gets better. I may be confused, like, why in the hell, where in, why am I here? Like, it's just, you know, questions I ask myself, but divine timing, everything is on God's time. So, and I'm just, like, so excited for the future, like I said, like, and the people that I have in my life, to this day that's in my corner um i pray they all come with me make it all you know to the end we can be old eating peanuts drinking coffee reminiscing looking at my videos from years years ago my grandkids looking at my videos like yeah i'm just all about love definitely so let's talk y'all let's talk i just wanted to say this uh, i just need to get it off my chest no matter where you are in life, keep going. If you have $5 in your bank account, I promise you, that $5 is not going to stay there. If you got $5,000 in your bank account, that $5,000 is not going to stay there. It's only going to get bigger. It's only going to get larger. And it solely depends on you. Don't do the same thing that you know that's going to create a bad habit or don't just be complacent. Always move forward. Always find things to do like positively, positive things to do, you know? um move on your own pace what i'm necessarily saying is move on god's time don't move on no one else's time if someone else just bought a house you know just got the new dog or the new car the new phone like the the latest whatever like don't feel rushed because that's what they got you know what i'm saying like your time is coming like they can have this right here and you can be like, oh, they got this, they got that. Why well, ain't got this? Why well, ain't got that? And don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. You and your own flesh, your own skin. Like, worry about yourself, you know? Just, just worry about yourself. Because what you could have or what you could be ready to get is in your face. But are you, are you mentally prepared for it? I'm talking to myself when I say this. Are you mentally prepared for it? What's in your face? Don't wait till it's gone. Because, child... That's the feeling that you don't want to, that, <laughs> it's the feeling that you don't want to feel like, God dang, I had it in the palm of my hands, but I wasn't, you know, paying attention or I didn't have my eyes on a prize. Like y'all, I got like five minutes to clock out. This time has went quick, <laughs> but yeah, just, you know, focus on you and what's for you. Cause what God has for you is for you and can't nobody take that away from you, but you. And don't take that away from yourself. Don't do that. Don't, don't, just don't do that. Don't let one situation make you make a decision that's going to mess you up in the long run or have regrets in the in the long run. Because if you're going off of based off of what you see for right now, what they say, walk by faith, not by sight. Overall, that's what I'm saying. Whatever it is that you want and that you need in your life, keep walking by faith and not by sight. All right? God's not going to fail you. A man going to fail you. A woman going to fail you. But God's not going to fail you. 
So solely 100% rely on God and his timing. And if it's not, if you don't get what you desire at that time, maybe he's sitting you down to talk to you. Are you listening though? He's sitting you down to get to grab your attention. Just have to pay attention, y'all. Seriously. And I know in this day and age, things can be rough and tough, you know, especially for my age group, the 20s, in the 20s. It could be for the people in the 30s. I'm talking to anybody, not just one target audience. I'm talking to everybody, okay? Things might be tough and rough, and you might go through things mentally, because nowadays, I am i don't know if I ever noticed it back in the day, but now I'm noticing it. Like, mental, people are mental is like, they're everything. If they don't have their mental, they don't have their selves, and who wants to go through that, you know? Like, do what you need to do, basically. Stay on track. Stay focused. Listen to God. When you in that house or you in that car, or you in that store, or you at work and it's quiet, no one's answering your calls or no one's calling you. And it's just like a drought. That's the time God really got your attention. But are you going to pay attention, baby? Are you going to pay attention? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to y'all. Um, and I'm also talking to myself, like I said, because chat. I thought I had, I thought I knew what was going on once upon a time in my life. I ain't no shit. I ain't no nothing. I was just there. I was just living, you know, I was just existing. And, and that's not what I wanted to do just to exist. You know, I wanted to do more, be more, be heard. And by being heard, it's not by being angry or, um, you know, by shouting, be heard the right way. You're going to be heard regardless. But more people are going to listen to you when you're more gentle with yourself or when you're gently talking to other people. The yelling and shit, mm -mm. I don't want to hear all that. But it's crazy, though, because you can get on social media, right? And you can be like, man, if this person, da 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 your comments, your likes going to be up. But once you start posting something positive, you only get like two likes, three likes. <laughs> it's crazy, right? It's crazy. It's crazy. Don't just let social media think that in order to get attention, you got to spaz out so they can hear you or so you can get that whatever you're getting. But no, nah. mm -mm. just stay true to yourself. Stay gentle. Talk gently to yourself. Talk gently to other people. Y'all, it took for me to lose certain people in my life to realize that rather if, the, rather if they came back or they didn't come back um it was a wake up call it was an eye opener like no nah, I don't want to be angry no more I don't want to do this no more I don't want to say that no more I don't want to feel this way basically I don't want to be negative no more I didn't have an idea I had no idea that I was going to wake up and be negative I had no idea that uh, half a part of the day it's going to be Majority of the day is gonna be negative. So I, I didn't, I didn't know that. So I just basically had to, you know, change my approach. And if I feel like I'm outraged or things is about to happen, um, I just pray. It's easier said than done, or what a lot of people say. But I just pray because I can go back. But who wants to go back? I don't want to go back to that person. So I just pray that clock out five o'clock. Deuces. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just pray that the Lord deliver me from all the, the negativity, the, the negative thoughts, you know, the, the tongue is a powerful thing, you know, so just speak lightly, positively, happy, like just all that above me and my mama, we were just actually talking about that, like manif let's manifest the life that we really want, but we also have to follow the rules behind it. You can't manifest and say, I want this and I want that, but you're not doing anything to lead up to that. That's just like a prayer. God, da, 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 you know, da, da, da. And you wonder like, why haven't I got this? Because you haven't sat down. You haven't sat down and listened. That's why. You haven't sat down and did what you were supposed to do. You ain't do your homework. You too busy over there and over here and over here and over there. You're not going to get nowhere like that. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, trust me, I know. 
I already know. So, more of the, more of the story is... Um, Take care of yourself mentally. Talk to yourself gentle. Love yourself. Find peace. Like me doing hair is peaceful. Dancing is peaceful. Acting is peaceful. Writing is peaceful. Studying is peaceful. Being a love my being around my loved ones is peaceful. Okay. Um, y'all. I'm just telling y'all this because I don't want it to be too late. You know what I'm saying? You might run into a situation or a person. Or an opportunity and it just gets denied or you just it, it just bypasses you because you wasn't paying attention and it's that's not that's not the not the way in life we all make mistakes we all grow from from them we all learn from them but at the end of the day we know right from wrong we we, we know right from wrong <laughs> put it like that so just take care of yourself mentally y'all do what you need to do. If you got to go hide in that closet to get away from your family or get away from whatever the dog, do it. Do it. There's plenty of times where I spend a lot of my times in my car just sitting, just thinking, you know? But also, don't overthink so much where it just ruins whatever the heck you think. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't let that... Don't let that become your best friend because overthinking can become your enemy. Seriously, it can create problems that don't even need to exist. You There you go, manifesting bad things, you know? I hear a lot of people be like, why when I say something bad, it happens? Or when I say something good, it don't happen? <laughs> well, I don't really have an answer to that. But it's just how you treat people how you treat things in life, and how you go about yourself. How can you expect to have this if you're playing the plan, the plan, whatever you 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 you're doing other things that don't even align up with whatever you're asking for. So you can't get what you're asking for. Okay. So um and myself in general, um like I won't I'm not gonna even really tell y'all my wants because that's like something personal for me, but just know that I just want love, peace, happiness. Yes, I do have that, but I want it to be at a level that I've never encountered, like a happy level that I never encountered. And I want to see that I did some self work within myself and it actually paid off, you know? It's just like, this card right now I have, like, I've been having it for some time, and after a certain period of time, I can go trade it in. All I had to do was just keep paying that card note on time, and and when that time comes, I'm going to get what I want. You know what I'm saying? What I desire. And I'm going to be proud because I worked up, um, um, a, 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 what do you call it? a good credit score or a good payment history you know what i'm saying that's just like you doing your work you manifesting this and you manifesting that you did your research you did your work you drinking more water you're talking to yourself nicely you're doing less cussing there's less drinking there's less smoking there's less of going out you just being more in tune with yourself it's gonna pay off it is if you don't recognize and realize who you are how you expect the next person to realize and recognize who you are? You know what I'm saying? Play it safe. Keep it safe. But yeah, I guess that's all I need to say before I just, you know, get to talking. Um, I'm going to bring y'all back when I'm about done or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to do nothing but just braid my hair up, keep it cute, and put it in a bonnet once I'm done. And watch me some TV shows after I study. Okay? Not before, but after. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll be back with y'all. Bye. All right, so I'm about to dip it in water with it braided like this. 
All right, y'all, I finished. This is what I was talking about when I said I was going to have it curly at the ends. I was looking exactly for that, and that's exactly what I got. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So, yeah, I'm just about to um put this in here on my scalp. Make love to my scalp with this. This is a good part, y'all. This is the part that feels so, so good. So good. So good, yes. Ladies, y'all know the feeling. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Ooh. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Mm -hmm. I done did it again. Y'all know what I did? My motherfucking hair again. I did it. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. She did it, she did it, she did it, yeah, yeah, she did it, she did it, she did it, mm, mm, mm. this is cute, yep, so I'm just about to oil my scalp, yep, this is definitely cute, have half up, half down, pin it up with your little swoop, 